Hello, my name is Emma, and in today's video, I am going to teach you many, many new expressions, okay? These words and expressions all have to do with house and home. So they're all expressions that have the word house or home in them, okay? Um, so to get started, I wanted to explain the difference between house and home before we even look at the uh, other expressions. So let's get started with that. Um, so there is a little bit of a difference. A home means a house, an apartment, it can mean a condo, it can be any place a person lives, okay? So if you ever watched the TV show Sesame Street, there was a character, Oscar the Grouch, his home was in a garbage can, okay? It's not a house, but it's his home because he lives there. Where a uh, mouse, for example, his home might be in a wall, okay? Or um, uh, some people, again, maybe their home is in a tent. So a home is a place where you live. Um, this is different from a house. A house is one type of building, okay? So a house is not an apartment. It's not a condo. This is a house. This is a house. Okay, so a house is a very specific type of building. So that's the difference. Home is, uh, refers to anywhere a person lives, but a house is a type of building. There might be nobody who lives in the house, okay? I might have four houses, uh, but I, the one I live in is my home. So that's what the difference is. Okay, so let's look at some of these very common expressions. The first one is the word hometown. I'm going to give you an example of this sentence. My hometown is Toronto. Okay. What do you think hometown means? I'll give you a hint. I'm from Toronto and I was born in Toronto. So hometown is the place you're from. Okay. So I have a friend who was born in Paris. My friend's hometown is Paris. Uh, some people come from big hometowns. Other people come from small hometowns. Okay, so the, the hometown is where you were born or where you spent your childhood. Where you were uh, living when you were a child. That's your hometown. The next word, homesick. And I want you to notice my pronunciation of these words. You'll notice that for hometown, and homesick. Home is the loud part, okay? I say home louder than town and home louder than sick. So homesick. Here's my example sentence of this word. I'm homesick. I miss my family, okay? I'm homesick. I miss my family. Do you think homesick means you're happy or you're sad? If you're homesick, it means you're sad. Why are you sad? Because you're not at home. You're not uh, in your country or your city. You're traveling, you're far from where you live. So many students from all over the world come to Canada to study English. A lot of students miss their families, they miss their friends. They're a little bit sad because uh, they miss everybody. So we say they are homesick. They miss their country, they are homesick. Okay, again, uh, we have two more words with home. Homeless and homelessness, okay? These words have the same meaning. It's just this is an adjective and this is a noun. So I'll give some examples of this. Uh, for homeless, I sleep on the streets. I'm homeless, okay? This means I don't have a home. I don't have a place to live. I live on the streets, okay? Um, so, you know, sometimes when you go to different cities, there are a lot of people on the street. They're asking for money um, and they don't have a place to live. We say those people are homeless. When we talk about this problem, we say the problem is homelessness. Okay, so that's the noun form. 
So there is a lot of homelessness in Toronto. Um, there is a lot of homelessness in many parts of the world. There are many homeless people in Toronto. Okay, so both of these mean uh, you don't have a home or someone who doesn't have a home. Okay, the next expression is a more positive expression. Uh, the expression is home sweet home. Okay, home sweet home. So uh, my sentence here is ah, home sweet home. Do you think this is a happy expression or a sad expression? Well, if you guessed happy because there's a big smiley face beside it, you're correct. When we say home sweet home, we usually say it when we've been away from our home, uh, either traveling or maybe we went to work. Um, so we're not home. When we come home, we're very happy. Oh, I'm at home, finally. I can put on my pajamas, I can you know, have dinner. I'm so happy to be home. So when people arrive at their home, they say sometimes, oh, home sweet home. It means, oh, I'm happy to be home, okay? So let's look at some other uh, common expressions with the word house and home. Okay, so our next two words are very important because students often mix them up. They often confuse them. The words are housework and homework. A lot of students make mistakes with these because they both have the word work in them, but one is house and the other one is home, okay? So what is the difference? Well, let's look at housework first. Housework has to do with cleaning, cleaning your house. Okay, it can be doing the laundry, it can be washing dishes, um, it can be cooking. All of the, the work that you do to keep your house clean is housework. So for example, uh, she does all the housework. It means she does all the cleaning, all the cooking, all the um, laundry, okay? Uh, my dad used to do a lot of housework. It means he does a lot of cleaning, a lot of cooking. Okay, so we use this a lot. Uh, this weekend, I have to do housework. It means this weekend I have to clean my house and, uh, you know, do these types of chores. Now, this is very different than homework, which if you are a student, you may know this word, homework. Homework is the work you get at school um, to do at your house, and then the next day you bring this to school and your teacher marks it, okay? So for example, our teacher gave us too much homework. A lot of students say this. Homework is very good though, right? Uh, it's good to get as much practice as possible. So you want homework, it's a good idea. Okay, the next expression, make yourself at home. This is a very, very important expression for when you have people who come to your house to visit, okay? So imagine you came to my house. What would I say when you come in? Oh, make yourself at home. Can I get you something to drink? It means I want you to be comfortable at my home. So please feel comfortable here, okay? Make yourself at home. Please have a seat, make yourself at home. It's an expression we use all the time, very, very often, whenever we want to tell someone, welcome to our home, please feel comfortable, okay? Okay, the next expression, a lot of students don't know, but this is a very important expression for when you go to a restaurant. Okay, so this is a very important restaurant expression. On the house. It's on the house, okay? This is a very good meaning. It's very positive. It means something at a restaurant is free, okay? So you don't have to pay for it. So for example, maybe drinks are on the house. That means drinks are free at this restaurant. Some restaurants have, uh, you know, maybe salad on the house. A lot of Japanese restaurants have soup on the house, okay? Meaning you don't have to pay for that. It comes uh, for free with your meal. 
or sometimes maybe um, the bartender or the, the server or the cook, they really like you. So maybe they want to, you know, be nice to you. So they might give you free food. In that case, it's also on the house. Okay, our next word is also about restaurants. House specialty. When we talk about a house specialty, it means um, the, the meal or the type of food a restaurant is famous for. It's the, the dish the restaurant makes the best, okay? So for example, pizza is their house specialty. This means that pizza is um, the, the meal that they make the best. If you come to this restaurant, you should have the pizza because it's their house specialty. It means it's the best thing they make, okay? So again, all of these are very common expressions we use um, in our everyday lives. Now let's look at a couple more expressions. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you four more expressions. The first one is house wine. So this is a good word if you like going to restaurants um, or bars and you like to drink wine. The house wine is usually the cheaper uh, wine at a restaurant. Okay, so if you don't want to spend a lot of money at a restaurant and you want something that is kind of recommended by the restaurant, you can ask for the house wine. Now, wine usually comes in red or white, so they might ask you a question like this. Would you like the house red? Meaning the house's red wine, so the, the red wine that isn't that expensive. Or would you like the house white? Okay, and so they're talking about wine. Another expression um, that you might hear is house music. All right, uh, for those of you who love to go party, who love to go clubbing, um, who like going out on Friday nights, you might hear house music. So house music is a type of dance music that is very, very popular at clubs, okay? So for example, the club plays house and hip hop music. Okay, so these are the types of music they play. So house is a genre of music that's good for dancing. Okay, our next word, full house. Um, here's an example and then I'll tell you what it means. It's a full house. There are no more tickets for the play. Okay, so full house has to do with um, the word full, meaning there's many people in a place. We use this mainly when we talk about theater and plays, okay? So if you ever go to New York and you want to watch a play, maybe there's no tickets because it's a full house, meaning it's full. There's so many people uh, watching this play, okay? So a full house means a place has many people. So there's uh, every ticket has been bought for a play. Finally, the last word, very common. We like to talk about house parties. A house party is a party that somebody has at their house, okay? Um, we can also use it for uh, when we talk about parties at people's apartments or condos or anywhere somebody lives. So a house party is when you go to a party at a person's home, okay? Um, so for example, uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a house party tonight. It means you're not going to a party at a club. You're not going to a party at uh, Chuck E. Cheese. You're going to a house party, okay? So you're going to someone's home and there's probably going to be music and drinking, okay? So that's usually what we mean by a house party. All right, so I hope you have learned a lot today about the differences between house and home and all the great expressions we have in English that use these two words. I invite you to come check out our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can actually do a quiz to make sure you actually understand these words and you can practice using them there, okay? Um, so until next time, I hope you've enjoyed everything and I will see you later.